He could not have made a bigger impact or a better start in his first game of league football. It really was welcome to the big time. Everyone was there for it and Harry Sheasel met the occasion. Most disposals on the blue for an age, a resounding success. All the skill that was forecast materialised before us. The switch to halfback was a masterstroke. And so Robbo, when last he was here at the desk, he was a highly touted prospect. It makes you so proud, doesn't he? He returns as a rising star. <laughs> Harry Shoes, I'm great to have you back. Thanks, Jared. Thanks for having me back on. Congratulations. What a big experience the last few days would have been. Yeah, no, it's been crazy, but I've loved it. Yeah. What's you know, today been like for you? Oh, it's been busy. Um, yeah, I was at the club at 7.30 and had an interview then, and I've had a few throughout the day as well. How so. many have you had today? Five or six, I think. Yeah. Um, what do you talk about? What do they ask you? Anything? Oh, they're all pretty similar. What? Um, what, what, what's, the, what's the constant question they ask you? Uh, about the debut. Um, did I think I had as many touches as I did? <laughs> um, the family, the tickets, um, just the whole occasion, and then also on the contract now, re-signing, and obviously the rising star as well, yeah. Oh, we're not going to ask you about that. Tell what I'm going to ask you. What was the noise like? Not just the noise of running out. Yeah. The noise of the game when the bodies started hitting each other, did you think, oh, oh my God, that this is, this is fair income? Yeah, no, I did. Um, my first kick was a turnover straight to I saw that. the opposition, so that was a bit of a, like a wake-up call. Um, but then, yeah, I was fortunate, fortunate to get it back, um, which let me like settle in. But yeah, throughout the day, I was just pinching myself, like running next to some players. And like Liam Shields, right? Yeah. He comes from Hawthorne. He's a he is a great fella. Oh, yeah. He's a pro footballer. He's tough. Did yeah. you remember, did you see that mark? Were you nearby when he I took was, that mark on the wing? Yeah, I was running into it and he was running back and I was like... What were you doing? I was going to go, but then I saw him and he just... I was like, wow. And that was incredible. And then I just ran past with a handball. <laughs> <laughs> the other noise was the crowd noise. Very much centred on you. There were so many people whose day was about seeing the first step of your journey and what they hope you'll be for North Melbourne. How, how aware of you were, uh, were, you, were you of that? Yeah, I was a little aware. As the game went on, I kind of heard, like, the chants and... Yeah, I saw a few like flags like um, and chisel packets around the ground, yes. which was cool to see. And yeah, it just made me feel so like supported and loved and made me feel a part of it, which was great. What was it like in the rooms after the game, getting in the circle and, and being with a new generation of, of yeah. players, an old generation, and just having that win, mate, first up? Yeah, no, it was an incredible feeling. Um, there were quite a few of us in the middle of the circle because a few boys hadn't had a win How yet. many were in there? I think four or five. Yeah. Um, a few players who have been around for a while as well, um, which was, yeah, it was great to be there with them, witnessing that with them. And then, yeah, it's just like a whole new... The vibe around the club at the moment is just so good. Um, I obviously wasn't there the last few years, but from what I've heard, it was probably rough for some players, and it's kind of just like that whole new vibe coming through and everyone's really excited by it. You were here in May, then the underage championships, the build-up to the draft, school, you get drafted, you go to a club. Has it been what you thought it was going to be? If you could go back to May when yeah. you were with us last, is it what you imagined? Um, it's probably better than what I imagined. Um, I kind of didn't look too far ahead, um, didn't really have too many goals, um, just try to play it like week by week and focus on my underage footy and my school, um, which is what I did and yeah, it's kind of just happened um, and I've loved the journey, yeah. Congratulations to you, you speak brilliantly. Thanks so congratulations much. to your parents <laughs> for but bringing you up really, really low, because you, you, you do, you, you, you speak great, you, you play great footy. Has life changed drastically so now that you're an AFL player? Um, not really. Like, obviously not being at school every day is different um, and being at the club every day, but you do get more free time. How good not being at school every yeah, day? it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so I got more time to, like, play golf and see friends and family yeah. and stuff like that, which I'm loving, um, and just doing extras, and I love getting better at footy and doing everything I can, so... Are you absolutely focused on footy or are you a, a person who likes going out and, and balancing, balancing um, life? Oh, I definitely am focused on footy a lot and I care a lot about it and I put a lot of work in, but I do care a lot about balance and doing other stuff and having good relationships with people, so, yeah, a bit of a combination. Oh, yeah. Does that foundation performance to go so well in Game 1, what does that do to you as you approach the next, say, month of football? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it puts pressure on me, but... Um, Oh, like, it's been kind of a, all the media attention this week and you can't, can let it get to your head, but I'm kind of just trying to focus now on Fremantle this week 
um, and just trying to back it up and yeah, play my role for the team. Wouldn't you be spewing if you get tagged this week, eh? <laughs> Second game up and someone starts niggling you. Yeah, oh, I don't think that will happen. There's other players that they'd go to, I reckon. So Not if you have 35 every week, mate. <laughs> you're about That'll to go and play Fremantle. Is this the first time you've been to Perth? Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> which will be a good experience, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I've heard we have a lot of fans in um, Perth as well, so it'll be good to see them at the game and hopefully challenge Fremantle for the win. Have you ever been to Northern Territory? No, haven't. Been to Queensland? Yeah. Sydney? Queensland, Sydney, yeah. yeah. South Tasmania. Australia? Yeah. <laughs> Tasmania? Yep. Yeah. Nice. I watched the Hawks there when I was a fan there. You now, went to what? Went, went to watch the Hawks. I used to oh, right. Yeah. So no the last time you were here, we had the photo of you with Sam Mitchell from your, when you were a little yeah. tacker. There, there's one of Alistair Clarkson as well, so it's hard <laughs> not to look at what did they say these days, how it started and then how it's going yeah. now. And it is going rather beautifully. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, Clarko is unbelievable. I have so much admiration um, for him as a coach and, yeah, I'm just feel so supported from the club and from him um, and yeah he's been great. You've committed to the Kangas, I know there'll be so many members who will as well, 1-300 Kangas How long on for? the website, two more years. Past so, so you're two signed, years. So you yeah. how long does that take it to? 20, end of 2026. Good to have yeah. it. So, Jeez, must have been a good contract, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> no, nah, I, was, I was happy to sign, um, I love the club and yeah I want to be there for as That's why all well. fans want to hear mate. Stuff. You'll always be one of ours, congratulations. No, nah, thanks Jared. Oh, good luck for all of us to come. Harry Shears was the rising star from round one.